2007. So, three years later? Four, five, six, seven? Yeah, okay. Three years later and this doesn't look like the same room we were in before. Hello and welcome back to Unpacking, where we seem to have moved house yet again. <laughs> wow, only three years in, in college slash university? I guess that makes sense. And we seem to have a new button, which is a map. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> did we move from a single apartment to like, a, a, I guess a free person apartment? That's kind of fun. So here's our room, bathroom. Dining, living, and a kitchen. That's so many rooms to fill. All right. Um, <laughs> this is gonna take some time. Okay. Let me process what on earth I'm looking at. Okay, so it seems like we're into a lot of things, or at least the people we're living it with are into a lot of things. We've got a gaming console. I mean, clearly supposed to be a PlayStation of some kind. I wouldn't know which which one. I'm not a PlayStation player. Sorry. Don't hate me. <laughs> Somebody's into like fashion, like making outfits and things, which is really respectable. I could never do that. Someone's got a pet stick insect and a lot of bugs actually. Uh, we got some mini figures. Wow, this is quite the uh, assortment of stuff. I love it. We got a hot water bottle. I love hot water bottles. It doesn't seem like we're actually able to move anything, so we uh, we might have to unpack around people, which. It's not something we've had to account for before. We've not had to account for anyone else, so... I guess we're, what we unpack will have to include with everybody else's stuff, and... Okay. Uh, that looks like the game we used to own. We used to own this game, right? I'm fairly certain we did before, and... Huh, right. Yeah, clearly PlayStation games with the blue there, but um, mine doesn't seem to have the same theming. I'm not entirely sure if if we play the same console. I don't remember having a console. We only had a computer last time, right? So maybe this is a computer game? Ooh, we're gonna have to think about that. Okay, uh, okay, we yep, more, but more, more of that. Yeah, these have got to be computer games that we have. And oh my gosh, the minifigures are still here. I love it. Okay, we've got another one there, so clearly minifigures are allowed on this shelf too and oh my gosh so many games yes games that we used to have before and oh oh cool another art book oh that's really cool i love the mask there this is gonna be like a swatch swatch book or something i wouldn't i wouldn't think that you'd put that kind of book in this room but maybe i don't know it can go down here with these other big books that makes sense and our top, yeah, okay, definitely, definitely in the wrong room. Um, let's go over to our bedroom here, and wow, it's so empty. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let's just uh, leave it on our bed and go back to the living room here, and that's so many rooms to have to pack up, oh my gosh. But it looks like we've only got a few boxes for this room, so it shouldn't take us too long. I mean, we're already a third of the way there, and... Ooh. Hmm, our art. Now, is it rude to put our own art up on the walls? I feel like it'd be rude to take somebody else's down, but adding to it? Surely it can't be that bad, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you do house etiquette when you live with roommates. I've never done that before. Oh, okay, our radio. So is it a communal radio, or do we want to keep it to ourselves in our room? Clearly, okay, so not everything that we pack in these boxes are for the room that the boxes are in, because sometimes, like our top, we accidentally pack it into the wrong box. But I'm going to go off and assume that anything packed into these boxes is supposed to be for the room that we unpack them into, if you understand, right? <laughs> Right? So, clearly we intended for the radio to be used in this room. So, we'll put the radio in this room. Yes? Makes makes sense? Okay. <laughs> now this was a very personal item of ours. With all our video games in. That, um, <laughs> that we had our computer to play computer games at. But now it seems to be in the living room. And I did just say that anything in these boxes is probably for the living room, but... 
there's no computer in here, and I did see when we went to our room that, that there was a computer, a computer in our room, so <laughs> I'm immediately going to go and break my rule I just made. Sorry, <laughs> but it makes sense that we keep our computer games with our computer, you know? <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, I already know I'm going to be playing this so much differently to anybody else, but you know what, that's probably, that's probably the whole point of it. It's like, how, what would you do in, <laughs> what would you do in this situation? And obviously not everybody's going to do the exact same thing, because maybe someone would be like, yeah, I keep my pot in the living room, whereas I'm going to say, no, we keep it in the kitchen. Okay, what, what else we got? More games that, oh no. No more room on the shelf. Ah. Okay. Now that is a problem. Hmm. Uh, we can put it here, but it. Oh, maybe. Can it, can it put it this side? No, okay. Ooh, that's a little bit annoying, but I'm sure it will be fine. Ooh, oh no. Less, less fine. Am I really not allowed to move other people's stuff? Ah. Okay. Um, fine then. We'll start a new. I was, I kind of want, yeah, standing up, a new row of all of my game things, and then, in case we've got more, and then you can go there, yeah? Good? So it goes zigzaggy, I like it when things zigzag like that, it looks good, okay. Oh no, oh, a book game, wait, oh, <laughs> a rascal, that looks so cool. Okay, it's got to be some kind of board game, right? So that can go along with Azores and Capital. <laughs> I don't know what they could be referencing or if they're real life games. Not very good at, uh, at game boards. Do game boards? Oh my gosh, that. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's the proof. <laughs> uh, board games. Okay, so, right. Yes, next box, last box. Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> cool. Do we play? Do we play D&D? <laughs> Does my character play D&D &D and this is our party? Because that'd be so cool if it is. Or just video game in general. It feels like people here might be kind of into that sort of thing. I mean, this has got to be very... I know it's not D&D, &D, that's not the same. There's like... Was it called cosplaying? It's not the exact same thing, but there's got to be some kind of crossover there. And there's games and things, so... You know, I feel like this is an appropriate picture to have in here. I kind of want to make this kind of collage you know, when people like purposely put their pictures up a bit sporadically. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, okay, wait. That's not even an Xbox. Okay, I was about to say rival console. No, that's not an Xbox, that's... Oh, GameCube? Is that a GameCube controller? <laughs> I'm too young to, to have ever played a GameCube, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's GameCube, but wasn't GameCube purple? It was like a dark purple. So, not GameCube? I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably- Yeah! Yeah, that's a GameCube! I know what a GameCube looks like. It's just blue. And, oh, then a red one. And, um, uh-oh, uh, uh-oh, uh, uh okay, yeah, no, there's room. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, yeah, just keep putting my games up there and hopefully, okay, hopefully, um, uh, there's no more. No more, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a giant blanket. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I don't think we can fit it anywhere in here. That's not good. Uh, I t you sure you can't just fold it slightly differently and put it down the sofa like this? Like the other one is? Oh, okay. No, oh, no, there's no way this fits in here. We gotta go keep it in our room. Maybe we can drape it over our bed, you know? That seems like like a smart thing to do. Okay, let's put it under the bed. That makes sense, yes? Under the bed. Makes sense. Maybe it's like a camping thing? I don't know. Do you have giant blankets when you go camping? I've never done that. Oh no, okay. Hmm. Uh, any more room on the shelf at all? Oh dear. Oh no, okay. Um, Problematic. Hmm. What do we do in this scenario, huh? Uh, get go intrude intrude onto the animal care shelf. Oh no! I mean, we could put some down here actually, right? Would that be a terrible idea? 
Would that be a terrible idea? <laughs> okay, oh wow! Yeah, there's rock climbing stuff here too! Oh wow, that's so cool! Hmm. <laughs> I, uh, concerned about this one little dude right here. There's not quite enough space on the shelf. Okay, we're gonna put it here. I think that would be good. And now we can choose another room to go on to, so let's pick. Okay, so we're about halfway through the episode, so I've chosen to do the bathroom, which has only got the one box, so it won't take us too long, um, and then we can finish the episode after this. And oh gosh, I am not ready <laughs> to do the bedroom that's got so many boxes, but we're not thinking about that right now. We're having a look at how chaotic this bathroom is, oh no, my gosh. Okay, um, they are some ginormous bottles of of something soap soap shampoo conditioner uh, what whatever it is <laughs> they are ginormous and hmm okay it looks like we've got color code toothbrushes and towels which is good it's always good to to color code what everything is we've got the lawn we've only got what the, the, <laughs> we've only got the one me <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be based on America, um, where they have, don't they have either separate washrooms or they put their washer and dryer in with the bathroom, but this one only seems to have a washer? See, I come from, from England where we, we put our, our washers and dryers in the kitchen, but there's clearly not enough room in here, so, so yeah, okay, I guess they belong in, in the, in here, okay, we're purple! <laughs> Got it. Let's be, let's be cleanly and can, cleanly, no offense to orange, and put our toothbrush in the cup because that's got to be like the whole purpose of the cup, right? And then we've got our own toothpaste, which should also go in the cup, perfect, and a razor, okay. <laughs> let's not put it close to the, this has got to be another girl's shelf, so we won't put our razor there, but also would that be kind of rude to put our razor on the other shelf if this is another person's? shelf <laughs> I don't know what genders we're living against but living with but there's got to be another girl because they've got um hygiene projects so I'm going to assume that this one this shelf here is the it's, is the other girl and I mean we can't even fit our razor on there anyway but it would be kind of gross to put them next to each other so I'm just gonna put it there <laughs> and hopefully the person who owns the top shelf isn't annoyed but it doesn't look like it's a shelf that's owned it looks more like a storage shelf so maybe it's all fine <laughs> god that was a long explanation okay nail clippers sharing nail clippers is that something that is deemed as disgusting or, or is it okay i'm going to okay clearly there's an empty drawer here for us so i'm gonna say it's probably not that nice <laughs> to share your nail clippers so We'll keep it to ourselves and we have our own little drawer here for our own stuff and damn it <laughs> why does this not fit clearly it's supposed to fit okay um now would it no okay it just will not fit at all that's uh, not good um maybe we can just put it down here okay yeah sure that fits and uh, tablets okay can that go in the drawer good good some deodorant, which I still personally think you put on while in your bedroom, not in the bathroom, but whatever. Same with perfume. I think you put that on in the bedroom, not the bathroom, but what? Whatever. Can I hang this? Yes, I can. Okay, I've never used one of these. We have one, but I've never used it. I, I don't see the point of it. I can reach my back anyway, so... Nah, I don't know. <laughs> it's painful. The Brussels hurt, okay? So, we've got our shampoo and conditioner from before. Which can clearly go on our own shelf here. And okay, oh, I don't know what this would be. If that's shampoo and conditioner, I guess it's body wash. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense. Okay, cool. And oh, more female products. We always love some very variety, variety, very very variation. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm um, great at this. I promise. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, can it fit? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was like, oh no, there's no more room down here, but it can fit in our drawer, so that's a good sign. And the last thing is air freshener, maybe? Maybe air freshener? Uh, 
happened up here? What's in here, by the way? Oh, there's a whole shelf that I had no clue about. Okay, well, we can put that in there. That's good. And in our drawer... What could we put in there from our drawer? It looks like they've got their deodorant and, and smelly nicey materials in there, so we can do that. And put this box back in here. And then I guess the air freshener can go with this stuff, since this seems to be more like products. And you know, bathroom utilities, and that is very useful in a bathroom. Okay, so that's the bathroom done, and the living room, so... <laughs> There we go, we've got two rooms out of the five all done, and I guess next episode we'll, we'll uh, tackle this. <laughs> or we'll tackle the bedroom. I'm not entirely sure which yet, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!